we got a whole lot of console capping youtube slander slinging and a giveaway that's going to knock your socks off where can we find all this well let's get into it Yo, what's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Can you do me a huge favor before we get too deep into this one? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal, because I ain't too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so we had another great episode of the best damn podcast, period. And for those of you that don't know, this hot new show, this the, the this fast tracking show, it airs every Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Next Gen 720's YouTube channel. And on the show, we like to highlight the latest gaming news, mixed with a little pop culture. You know what I'm saying? And along with giving you guys our hilarious reactions to some of the most spooky comments out there on social media. All right, so here's my personal reaction to the show. First and foremost, we had the infamous trials and tribulations of King Thrash Gaming. <laughs> For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, that like I like to say, been living under a rock uh, at the time of this recording, King Thrash Gaming created a YouTube video. He's a YouTube personality and he's cool with me. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to consider him a friend. He may not do the same after all this, right? But uh, King Thrash created a YouTube video where he did an analysis of an analysis that Digital Foundry did on the uh, visuals of Gears 5, all right? Um, and in his analysis, he called what Digital Foundry came up with as them lying and them being severely dishonest. So what Digital Foundry said in the video basically is that the some of the, the, the tech that included lighting and shadowing overall was impressive that was uh, deployed by Coalition, the makers of Gears 5, and that they felt like the tech, not their overall efforts, but just the tech alone, stood alongside of some of the other tech that is used by um, well-regarded uh, developers like Naughty Dog. So King Thrash took the opportunity to contest everything that they said and hence created a video that caused a lot of buzz on the gaming scene um now here's my initial thoughts here's my reaction to our discussion everything going on in regards to this at a high level i think he brought up what what could have been a very plausible discussion on hit detection or lack thereof in the gears environment now opposed to what it was when it was in the hands of epic i think that could have been a meaningful discussion he, and also, he caught Digital Foundry slipping on a non-impressive reflection off of a building. There was a reflection that was on a building that didn't match the, the, the scene that it was supposed to be reflected on. And he did catch that to his, to, to, to his credit, you know what I'm saying? And Digital Foundry didn't, you know what I mean? Now, does it attack the overall theme that Digital Foundry said? Did it make them a liar? Did his evidence make them a liar? No. For the most part, his accusations towards Digital Foundry were just one-off rare instances here and there that even, quite honestly, were never solid, nor never diminishes Digital Foundry's point, which is, Gears 5 has some very impressive visual tech overall. It doesn't do it, sorry. However, if my homie King Thrash tempers his approach, he can do something big on a consistent basis regarding his digital foundry follow-ups if he just tempers again how he the, the themes of his videos and stuff like that he, he's on to something big he could do that instead of just creating fanboy fodder for xbox haters but again that's up to him who am i i don't have as many subscribers as them that's all up to him whatever he wants to do but on to the next one next is the console cap and we saw it during the community and this time the receipts hit close to home. First, we had my homeboy, Next Gen 720, saying some of the most outlandish stuff back in the day, man. Back in his uh his, his uh Xbox bleed green days, man. Woo! You gotta you gotta see the show to see some of this stuff, man. Um 
Then also, it hit close, it hit close to home. My bro, FC Violent, AKA Leonardo DiCaprio off the Revenant, was caught fighting beers with his beer hands for the sake of game pass. But I don't think it worked out for him this time. You gotta check the show to, to see what I'm saying. Big ups to my homie FC Violent, PNTS Network, baby. And lastly, the effing of the day, oh my. <laughs> None of us saw that coming at all. Big up to the production team. All I gotta say is nobody is safe, not even the panel. <laughs> so definitely check out the show, you know what I'm saying? Because that that definitely was 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 a funny moment. Um last but not least, FN Productions creators of the best damn podcast period is doing a massive giveaway it spans several big name titles along with the platforms that they come with you know what i'm saying and i want to give me a second i'm going to show y'all something man i want to show y'all that we're not playing around at the best damn podcast and and fm productions sponsored by j dubs um is not playing around with this giveaway all right so let me show y'all something real quick can y'all see this all this right here can be y'all's this right here playstation 4 limited edition with all these games this xbox one x one terabyte with nba 2k20 and this switch with all these peripherals the super smash brothers ultimate edition all that can be yours how you say go to my twitter feed which is at mm2k go to twitter twitter.com forward slash mm2k or you can just go on twitter and go at mm2k go to my home page and the tweet the tweet that you're looking at right now that's pinned on my home page describes how you can make sure that you're eligible for this massive massive giveaway we're calling this the best damn giveaway period so with that said, you can also check out the link in the description below, all right? I'm also going to pin here in the comment section links to everything so you can check your eligibility. You definitely, definitely don't wanna miss this because this is going to be a giveaway of a lifetime, all right? And that said, again, check out Best Damn Podcast, period, every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Next Gen 720's channel. And with that said, you guys enjoy the show. Good luck to you on the giveaway. And you have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.